is it rolling? Guys, I'm here with John Kozar. Yeah. It's happening. This is a very exciting video because I wanted to shoot something with you for a really long time, mm -hmm. and Diane uh, made me privy to the information you <laughs> tweeted. No, I've never used a face mask because I'm a thousand percent sure once I take it off, I'll be Ivanka Trump. That's funny. It is really I'm a funny. funny, man. <laughs> I know you I are. I can do it. I think you're hilarious. I think this is a great tweet. So I thought this is a great opportunity to try a face mask for the first time. I'm into it. And we're not starting subtly. We're Starting with milky dress. <laughs> I didn't know there were like levels. Like you, you start off with a basic face mask and then you graduate to whatever the hell this like vampiric <laughs> shit is. This is a fun guy because this is a magnetic face mask. So you put it on, you dry, and then you use a magnet to suck it off your face. Sounds horrifying. <laughs> also, Mamrie Hart is here, and she's allowed me to kind of use her segment that she originated, Mask Me Anything. So we're gonna put the face mask on, and then Twitter has sent some scandalous questions for you to answer. Ooh, Are you Twitter. ready? Yeah, oh, Twitter. Yeah, I'm prepped. First, let's get into our milky dress. Is that what it's called? Uh, milky dress. Uh, every good face mask comes with this many instructions for it. Yeah, I feel it working already. It is a magnet. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a bizarre consistency. Yeah, it's like that magnetic sand. I might have seen it in infomercials. Well, today you're gonna kind of put it on your face. So you just dip hands right in and smear it on your face. Would you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look. Whoa. All right. Is it just like putting mud on your face? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I could do that. It's a casual activity. It Hold feels on. weird. It feels like I should eat it. Don't. You know? <laughs> oh. That spatula is for sure there to put it on your face. Oh. No, that's a... to clean it off the magnet. Oh wait, or... no, she is putting it on her face with. With the spatula. <laughs> Dan, how much did this cost? Like 50, like this is like fifty dollars. You're kidding. I'm putting about fourteen dollars on my believe... face right now already. Oh, oh that's a hundred percent better. That's how you paint it on. Dude, this is what the money buys. And that spatula is forty nine dollars, and the actual <laughs> face mask is one. Okay, now we get into the Q and A part. Is he a toe bro? Is this a gay thing? Maybe I... it's like a foot fetish thing. Oh. oh my gosh, of course. You're <laughs> but am I a toe bro? Yeah, I thought you were saying, of course you are a toe bro. No, of course that's what it is. Um, no. No? Okay. Actually, no. When it comes to kinks, I'm like, whatever whatever your bliss is, I'll join you. Oh. Like, I'm gonna meet you in the middle. What a compromising kinkster you are. <laughs> what was your first impression of Grace? It was at VidCon, uh -huh. maybe three, four years ago. I think it was Hannah Witten introduced me to you, because she's like, oh, I love Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hannah is, if you don't know, um, British. She just she oh, now no. does a speech in Mandarin. Yeah. And then I met you, you were like 40 feet tall. Yeah. And I didn't know you were 40 feet tall. Surprise. Because the videos just don't, usually you're seated. Or by yourself. Right. Basically. Here's a scandalous question. Have you ever changed a flat tire on your car? Um, no. Did he forget the password to his channel or is he too busy being a stripper to post? <laughs> Someone got sassy really quickly. Yeah, also, where does the stripper come from? I because don't get Because you the just joke. went out and put money and a stripper over the weekend. Oh, right. <laughs> I've never put a dollar in a stripper's belt before, so you've done something I've never I done. I mean, he was not wearing a belt. <laughs> we had fun, and then we had more fun, and then we had too much fun, and then I was peeing on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. There was these these like big ropes and like a kind of saddle thing. The guys would like get like a running start and then like go over everybody with their crotch and everybody's faces <laughs> and everyone's like freaking out. It was like a, a gayer Cirque du Soleil, if you can imagine <laughs> that. It was wild. That's where John's been, so don't expect an upload anytime soon, guys. No. Someone wants to know, have you ever filmed a really awkward collab? Um... Uh... You can say ours. No, I mean, every collab's a little awkward for me. Just because sure. I'm like, which version of me should I try to be today? <laughs> like, what am, I, what am I going for? Yeah. Maybe I have Asperger's, or maybe I'm like a, a, a complete narcissist, or maybe I'm just normal and a little anxious. Like, yeah. like I just bounce around like a pinball of anxiety. I read uh, something on a Tumblr they are like, please tell me how to make friends in school. And please, none of that just be yourself bullshit because that's not working right now. <laughs> I was like, I get this. Weezy Waiter wants to know, ever collude with Russia? I bet you put the lewd in collude. Oh yeah. That guy. <laughs> Have you ever had a sex dream about any of your friends? And how much did you wish it actually happened? <laughs> this one's oh, a scandalous one. It is. <laughs> Rarely someone I know. But you have had 
ones about the people you know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we all have. Mostly they're just weird. They're not like people I'm sexually attracted to. It's like teachers that shouldn't be sexualized, <laughs> but always had like the biggest breasts. <laughs> And so they'd like lean over your desk and like point to the question and talk to you and their boob is just like rubbing up against your cheek. So, <laughs> well, I'm sure plenty of you out there can relate to those kind of stories. If certainly. you have a story like that, leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> Let us know. Someone said, ask him what being a perfect angel baby is all about. Who? How? <laughs> I used to think everybody who died became an angel. So much iconography of like people dying and then their soul like growing wings and just kind of like flying up to heaven. Yeah, yeah. But that's not biblical, fellas. <laughs> that is not biblical. So. That's just a Red Bull commercial. Yeah. So I guess the idea is you use this, you go close and it starts pulling it off and then you just kind of scrape it off the magnet onto the paper towel. Got it. You just go close-ish to your face. I think I used a lot and you didn't. You did use a I lot. I just put all, <laughs> this is like at least $24. <laughs> <gasps> Like it's straight off. It's like just, it's the cleanest. Here, finger. What? That feels like baby skin. It's my little baby skin. <laughs> See how much you can get if you wipe around your whole Oh yeah, just cheek. like. Oh my God, this is crazy. Yeah, this is. What? For never having tried a face mask before, you can't go back to any of the normal ones now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's what we're doing wrong. You're supposed to wrap the magnet in a paper towel, and so it collects on the paper there towel. It is. This it makes all so works. much more sense now. Look at you! I'm beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> Unreal how clean it comes this off. This is really Mary's cool. face is <laughs> shook. Pull up the stock. This has to be publicly <laughs> traded. This I'm investing. Is, and then this is so much oh, easier whoa. that way. We're idiots! Oh god, this feels so nice! That's so hard. How do you feel after your first face mask, I John Cozart? Ow! I feel good. <laughs> na, 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 na. I thought you went ow, like all of a sudden it started burning, and that's where we find out no. that you have a deep allergic reaction. No. Well, I hope you had fun in this video. This is fun. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I'm happy to have provided you with your first face mask experience. They're not, any of them are not like this. <laughs> and thank you, Mamre, for allowing me to use Mask Me Anything. Of course. If you guys uh, haven't checked out already, Mamre made John a very specific cocktail cocktail beverage in a, an episode of YouTubers Deserve a Drink over on her channel, so go check that out. Also, go follow John on social media. Um, subscribe to his YouTube channel, because at some point, maybe you're gonna upload something and of course. it's gonna be a surprise for everyone. Of course. Oh yeah, and John's gonna be over on Hannah's channel making a Toons Day with her, so you got all kinds of videos with John to watch. That's so a lot of me. Yeah, so stop complaining that he's not making videos, guys. Yeah. He's here right now. Other than that, I don't know. Nah. That's my end, end, end music. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a more pathetic Christopher Nolan. <laughs> nah.